For maximum picture quality, it may be necessary to adjust the tracking control on your VCR. to bear country you'll know when you're there as soon as you enter you'll feel like a bear a great grizzly bear a berenstain bear we are the berenstain bears mama papa sister brother we appreciate each other we live in a split level tree mama papa sister and me snug as buds in a split level tree here are more bears Big Bob Bear. Rabbit's Ralph. Oh, uh who's -huh. Honey Bucket? I'm the mayor. And watch, watch more. Bears galore. You may think that this starts our show. Well, it does. Prepare to meet your doom. Papa, why are you so determined to catch old Jake the giant catfish? Why? Because he's there. I know you're somewhere down there, Jake. And today, I'm going to catch him for sure. Because of this surefire, can't miss catfish bait. Catfish bait? That's right. A plastic mouse. Old Jake won't be able to resist it. A plastic mouse? Papa, cats don't have anything to do with catfish. What makes you think old Jake likes mice? Well, I've tried everything else. Jelly beans, worms, bagels, burritos, catnip. But Papa, a plastic mouse won't work anyhow. Back off, sis. Old Jake's a friend of ours. We don't want him caught anyway. Oops, that's right. Hey, I got him! I got him! Old Jake's fallen for my trusty plastic mouse bait. All right, you old catfish, I've got you now. Come to Papa. Old Jake's still safe. I thought I had him that time for sure. Look at this, nothing but an old boot. Don't feel bad, Papa. Mayor Honeypot only catches old soda pop cans. Old cans, old boots. Folks are using the lake for a trash can. Yeah, and all that junk they're throwing in's polluting the water. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. Anyway, I've caught my quota of garbage for the day. I'm heading home. So long. See ya, Papa. You know, Lake Grizzly really is a national resource. And if folks are using it as a dump... No ifs about it. <laughs> yeah, folks are using it as a dump. <laughs> Look, it's old Jake. How you doing, Mr. Jake? Want to see what them scallywags been tossing in here? Get a load of this. Take it easy. Yeah, we're on your side. Yeah, sorry. They got carried away. It's just that this mess gets me hotter than a hornet's nest. How are you two coveroos doing anyway? We're fine, but it sounds like you've got a bad cough. <laughs> yeah, well, not just me. Everyone who lives in the lake's coughing up a storm. <coughs> you fish, turtles, frogs, everybody. How come? All that dead burned pollution is choking everyone. I tell you, we're drowning in this stuff. <laughs> Gosh. This is really serious. We've got to do something before it's too late. But what? Hey, maybe Professor Actual Factual will help us. Good idea. He's an expert in environ, environ, environmentalist. Environmentalist? Yeah, he knows all about land and water and everything. And he knows a lot of stuff about pollution, too. Don't worry, Jake. We'll get you some help. OK, Cupperoos. I'll be waiting. <laughs> and it better come quick, or I'm gonna have to switch to bottled water. <laughs> oh, dear me. This does sound critical. 
Lake Grizzly is Bear Country's reservoir. It supplies all of our water. You mean we've been drinking that stuff? Yeah! Is there anything we can do? First, we must survey the entire lake to see exactly what we're faced with. Lake Grizzly's awfully big, Professor. Hey, maybe we can use the Bersonian's observation balloon. Capital idea! Now, quickly, my little friends, into the gondola and to your stations. The balloon's getting pretty full, Professor. We must wait for the exact moment, which is now! <laughs> All right, now, start scanning the shore for polluters. Do you see anything? Do I? There goes a soda pop can into the water. And some phone cartons. Oh, oh, I think I've got something big. Here, take a look, Professor. Right on. Let's see what we have here. How awful. Totally inexcusable. I don't understand how some bears can be so irresponsible. Hey, there's a guy pouring crankcase oil into the lake. Yeah. One of the worst pollutants known to bears. Hey, Squire Grizzly's yacht. And look, Squire Grizzly's ship dumping garbage overboard. Very high grade of garbage, no doubt. But still garbage. I think we've seen quite enough. And from what we've seen, it'll be very expensive to clean up Lake Grizzly. But if it isn't done, their country will be in big trouble. Then what's our next step, Professor? We must go underwater and explore the floor of the lake to see just how much junk there is to dredge up. Underwater? Ready, Cubs? Ready, Professor. Okay, into the drink. Oh, goodness gracious, they certainly do have a little problem down here. Yeah, sometimes our room gets pretty messy, but never this bad. That's because folks don't throw all their junk into your room like they do here. <laughs> Hi, Jake. Yeah, good to see you, Cub Roos. Been waiting on you. This is our expert envir environmentalist friend, Professor Actual Factual. Howdy, Professor. You think we can turn this blasted pollution thing around? Uh, before I make a judgment, I must see just how much contamination there is in this lake. Well, if it's a tour guide you're needing, I'm your fish. <laughs> just tag along after me. <coughs> Hope you don't mind the mess. I didn't have time to tidy up. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, Jake, your cough sounds worse than ever. It's this dead burned water. I can't breathe. <laughs> breathe? That's right, Sister Bear. Fish breathe by getting oxygen from the water passing through their gills. Yeah, but the water's got to be clean. Otherwise, <laughs> we got problems. Look, over there. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. It's just old Inky. A good guy to have on your side. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Poor old guy. Used to be able to ink up a storm. Now all he can manage is a few smudges. What's that noise? Now you see, Inky moves by taking in water and squirting it out. And all this pollution's giving him indigestion. Now, what say we finish up our <coughs> junkyard tour? An excellent suggestion. Lead the way, Jake. I must say the contamination is unbelievable. Cleaning it up will be very expensive. Well, I might be able to pay for it with uh, something I've been saving for a rainy day. It sure is a rainy day. It's raining trash, junk, and look out! Oh, bed springs. It's right here in this uh, underwater cold. Looks like an old pirate ship. Right you are, Cubaroo. It's old Pirate Grizzly's lost treasure ship. The lost treasure. Wow. 
We're going in, so stick close. Look out! Oh my stars, it's falling on us! Look at that treasure! Gold doubloons! And jewels! This will pay for the cleanup! But we'll need some way of reminding bears not to dump garbage in the lake. Otherwise, it will get polluted again. Too bad that neat pirate ship sunk. Yeah. I bet bears would pay to see something like that. Of course. The ship could be a floating museum. And the admissions will fund our ongoing fight against pollution. An excellent idea, Cubs. But the ship's underwater. How can it be a floating museum? Oh, it's quite simple, really. A well-established technology. First, we must attach my deflated observation balloon to the vessel. OK, Oscar. You hear him? Stick those doohickeys on those doodjiggers over there. Then we'll reinflate it with helium. This floating museum's really a success. Yes, it's reminding bears not to dump trash, and it's earning enough money to keep Lake Grizzly clean forever. All right. Hey, Cubaroos, Professor, down here. You know, we just want to say thanks for what you're doing. 